Ciao friends and welcome to the whiteboard. This episode is about DAX variables. The whiteboard series is about describing tabular modeling and DAX concepts using uh, the whiteboard as a way to describe uh, abstract concepts in a more interactive way and also using some graphic. I'm not that good in uh, drawing uh, charts uh, manually, but I hope that using the interaction you get a different perspective on concepts that sometimes are not so, so not too easy to understand just looking at the code. So the variables are something that is uh, constant in DAX. Why they're called variable? That's a question we are not able to answer in this video, but let's see why, how the variables work in DAX uh, and what is a common mistake that you could make by using the variables. Let's go to the whiteboard. In this first example, we see a report where for every continent and country, we have a measure called average offset. The average offset has to compute the average of the distance between the sales made to each customer in that area with the average sales of all the customers in that area. So the calculation of this average offset has been defined using this DAX code. And as you see, the variable average sales is used in this line where we compute the absolute difference between the value of the sales amount computed customer by customer and the average sales that has been computed dividing the sales amount of all the customers in that area by the number of customers in the same area. So let's try to see how this works on the whiteboard where I copy the code and I can represent in a, in a graphical way what happens when we assign average sales. So for each cell of the report, this measure is evaluated. For example, we are in Australia, and in Australia we compute this average sales only once, and the result of this variable is stored into, um, into the variable. But the original thing is that the variable uh, in many programming languages can change over time. Here, it just stores the result of the calculation. So my average sales uh, var uh, variable, after it has been executed, it has just a number. And for example, the number for Australia, let me check, uh, was uh, uh, 841,828. Uh, so this is just the value for Australia, computer for Australia. And it's there. Now, whenever we reference average sales again, which happens here, we are just copying this number into this expression. What does it mean? That there is no additional computation. Remember, this uh, expression is executed for every customer, in this case in Australia, and sales amount has to be computed for every customer. The same is not happening for the variable average sales because it has been already computed and we are only referencing the value, the result of the previous calculation. So this is the way the variable works. And it's very useful using the variables to improve the performance of your code, but most important to self-document your code. But we're here to understand the concept, so let's move um, uh, let's dig in a little bit more into, into this uh, concept and let's change uh, the report. We have a different case where I want to show a common mistake that I see newbies doing when they use the variables the first time. Uh, if you see this uh, report has this area of the report where I have a slicer, the slicer only affects the left side, the gray area of the report. So you, you see that when I click red, for example, I'm applying the filter over color red to the sales amount measure that is filtering sales in 2020. If you take a look at the uh, definition of, uh, the, sorry, at the, at the measure I used here, I used here sales amount, but I am also filtering by year 2020. So the value that you see in this, uh, um, in this matrix is the value of the sales amount measure in the year 2020, and in this case, for the color red. Let's remove red for a moment. So now we're not filtering by color. So we see here the sales in 2020. 
On the right side, the white part of the report, we have the sales amount unfiltered. In this case, uh, we don't have any filter applied to this visual. And we can check, double check this. We don't have any filter applied to the visual, also at the page level. But we have this measure, wrong sales 2020 red, where we applied a filter the wrong way. So let's see how we define this uh, measure. So we define this measure using a first assignment to sales 2020, a variable sales 2020 computes the sales in 2020, and then the sales 2020 red calculate the previous variable applying different filter. This is a mistake, but I see this mistake uh, in, in code uh, written by people who learn DAX uh, the first time uh, they use the variables, so, so while, while they're learning DAX. And so let me explain why this code doesn't work as expected and always return the value of uh, sales amount in 2020. So the filter over red is not applied. And you have proof of that if you look at the numbers. When I filter, so let me just remove this. When I filter the color red, you see that the number shown here is much smaller than the number that you see here. Whereas when I remove the filter, the numbers you see here that are filtered by 2020 correspond to the numbers that you see here in this area of uh, the code. Oh, just uh, uh, filter by continent this way. So it's easier to map that Australia is here and is here and has the same number. When I filter by color red, you see that the number is much smaller. So why we don't have this number that you see now also here? Because we're using a variable, whereas we should have used a measure. But let's go there in a moment. Let's go back to the whiteboard where I prepared a copy of this code. And in this code, we can see that uh, the execution happens in two stages. First of all, uh, sales 2020 is computed and the result is stored into a variable. We call this variable sales 2020. And yes, because there is a calculate statement, we know that there is a filter context created with a filter over date year. And the date year is equal to 2020. Sorry. 2020. In this filter context, sales amount, the measure sales amount is evaluated and produces a number. This number is stored here. And let's say this is 4517, just to put a number. Now, at this point, uh, this filter context is gone. We no longer have this, but we have a new calculate, a new filter context. Now, this filter context has nothing to do with the previous one. We just have a new filter over product color. But whatever is the filter doesn't matter because now we are not evaluating a, a formula. We are not evaluating a measure. We are evaluating just this number. And this is a constant number. It's not going to change because we are applying some difference in the filter context. You can imagine that you could replace this uh, sales 2020 with just the value of 4517. And so if you apply a constant value in a calculate statement, the result will be the same value. You, you, you're not going to affect the, 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 the calculation in any way because there is no formula to evaluate. So the right approach when you need to execute a formula, you have to use a measure. A measure reference is something more dynamic. So the code we have to write is something like this. We have to write this code where we have the calculation of sales 2020 red computes the sales in 2020 applying the filter red. And what happens? In this case, the initial calculation is the same. So this is the initial calculation that have a filter context with uh, the year that is 2020. But you see that this is a definition of a filter context, this one, where we have a filter product color red. But what happens? This entire calculation is evaluated in this filter context. So what happens is that the the order of the execution is first we compute this and we create this uh, um, this filter context. In this filter context, we execute this second step, and this second step creates the filter for year in year 2020. 
in the same feeder context, in this feeder context that has now two feeders, we evaluate sales amount. You can see the same concept in another way. So let me remove something here and let's work on the code. So if you look at the code here, when you create this measure, you can replace sales 2020 with the definition that you have here because actually you are referencing a measure so you are consuming the measure definition you are executing the formula that you have in the measure which means that we can rewrite the code this way so the calculate with product red computes here another calculate that computes sales amount in the year 2020 and if you think about what is happening here again it's the same thing we have first the filter over red color is red in this filter context calculate applies another filter in this case uh, the year which is 2020 and in this filter context finally this measure is evaluated and the result is evaluated in a filter context that has two filters so this is what we uh, obtain when you use uh, uh, measure references inside a calculate. And the same would happen if we use uh, this other uh, definition. So if I created a measure that has one and two filters in the same calculate, what you get is exactly the same filter context you have seen here. So there would be no difference if you use uh, uh, this version of the measure or this version of the measure because both versions actually generate the same filter context to evaluate the sales amount measure. So we have seen that a variable is a constant and a variable stores just a value, a number or a string, maybe a table, but still a static element, a static value, not a formula. When you need to execute a formula, uh, maybe in a different filter context, you need to use a measure reference, not a variable. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wildboard. Look at the other episodes and enjoy DAX. Mm -hmm.